The weather. The weather family. The weather family is made up of mother son, who provides warmth and love, father land, who accumulates warmth and guides rain and wind, sister rain waters the land, and brother wind moves it all around. In midsummer, when it is hot, sun shines down on us from very high and she stays a long time. This causes rain to fall in mist and rain and washes the air and the leaves clean and makes everything wet. In midwinter, when it is cold, sun is lower and doesn't stay so long. Rain turns into frost and snow to decorate and cover the plants. When rain falls asleep, she is lifted and floated on a cloud that covers land like a blanket. She usually looks white and hazy in the beginning, just like a stratus cloud. As she floats to her mother's son, she looks thin, wispy, and shows her curls, just like a cirrus cloud. Whenever she sinks to her father land, she gets cumulus and puffy, just like a cotton ball. There are times when she is torn and wants to go to both her mother and father. Then she gets very stretched, very dark, and cries a lot. Depending on how high she floats, she wakes up either as rain or snow that fall on land, or she can play with wind and make him all wet. Sometimes she runs to sun and leaves wind dry. She often has wet dreams where she is half asleep and half awake. She is a very thick and very high thunder cloud and wind enters her till she cries. Wind goes crazy and juggles her tears like he was juggling his balls. Each time her tears were thrown back up, it added another layer of ice to them until they became harder and bigger and turned to hail. When they got too big and heavy for wind, they fell and landed on land. Rain got so excited when wind rubbed her and juggled her hails that she flashed like lightning and groaned like thunder. When the cloud sank and rested on land, she was called a fog. When she then mixed with a dirty wind, she was called smog. When wind rushes along land, it picks up clouds and carries them with him wherever land guides and directs him. Humans call that a cold front or a warm front. When wind blows straight down onto the land from above, he pushes clouds away so that land can be warmed by sun. Humans call that a high or a clear and sunny day. When wind blows straight up, he pulls in clouds from all directions so that land can be washed and covered by clouds. Humans call that a low or a depression because they prefer a sunny day to a rainy day. When wind blows around in a circle, he plows land like a farmer plows his fields. Humans call that a tornado or a hurricane if it's large. Rain and wind really wore down and aged their father. They gave land all his wrinkles and made him go bald, especially when wind had just played in his sandbox and was full of sand. Sand was also used by humans who melted it into silicon dioxide and called it glass. 
They use glass to build greenhouses that let light from sun pass through to heat the ground and kept heat inside by blocking heat from passing back out. Humans ate and melted plants into CO2 and called it carbon dioxide. The planet Earth used CO2 as a blanket that let light from sun pass through to heat land and kept land warm by blocking heat from passing back out. The Weather family often go for vacations. Sometimes they go to see the Northern Lights or Aurora for short. They fly to the North Pole and go very high up in the sky and play with the showers sent from their mother's son. When they get too cold, they go south to the Caribbean to warm up. When they have collected enough heat, they hike all the way back up north on the trail called the Gulf Stream. Every five years they have a holiday in the Pacific Ocean where sometimes they chill out and get low and other times they warm up and get high. When they return home for Christmas, the planet Earth celebrates their return with floods and droughts all over. Then they are known as La Nina when chilled and El Nino when high.